you want to make sure to disconnect these two connectors. I didn't and I accidentally ran one set of wires when they weren't connected and ruined them and I had to build a new set of wires. <clears throat> so make sure to take these off because someone will invariably come and open the door or push the button or hit the key fob or something. Take the motors and disconnect them. Okay, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to remove this screw, this screw, there's a screw here, another screw on the other side, this screw, and this screw. Then you're going to, I just cut the, the fittings so that I could get the plate and take it off completely. Now your back wire threads in through here, your front wire threads in through here. <clears throat> then what you're going to need to do is take out this screw this bolt and there's another bolt below it this screw this bolt and this bolt now <clears throat> on the other side the corresponding bolt that's down there that's the hardest one to get out I left it out uh, and didn't put it back on and it didn't have any problems whatsoever as long as I made sure these were tight and everything was properly aligned so that this bolt would go back in. <clears throat> then you take the plates off and unthread your your cable. Then <clears throat> the cable is held in by this plate into the body of the the motor. The cable's got a little fitting on it that holds it in and it goes to there. Then you want to undo these bolts right here, take it out, and you'll be able to see the 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 wire. And you'll do the same with the back one, and you'll unthread it out. Don't take this entire assembly out. It's just too much hassle to work with, and it, it really doesn't give you any advantage over it. <clears throat> then you're going to undo this bolt and you're going to pull the whole assembly out. Now your wires could be wrapped up in the the body between the body of the motor uh, mount and the the wheel. So just undo the bolt, pull this forward, and then uh, pull everything off. It'll be kind of hard, but it's easy enough to do, and there's nothing else holding it on. You're then going to want to take out this screw, this bolt, this screw, and this bolt. You have to pull out this one too. So pull the piece off carefully. <clears throat> now, this is wedged between the body, the casing, and your cable. Now you want to pull your cable out and unthread it through here. And then you're going to pull this piece out. Now the pulleys are going to want to come out too. Just make sure you're careful. There's a hole back there. Just slide it back in the hole. Sorry, I got a little out of focus. And then you're going to undo the parts to keep You're also going to have to take out this bolt that's down here that mounts down there. Now it's a real pain in the neck and I decided that I'm just not going to put this one back in there because this is the, the second time that I've pulled it all apart because my original fittings didn't work. Uh, the, the cable ends popped off. The There didn't seem to be any problem whatsoever with uh, leaving it off as long as you tighten these ones and the, the the one that goes right here that screws to the plate that goes over these pulleys. So you're going to get your wires back and you're going to mount it in the back of 
this one, then you're going to wrap it around, and these are angled grooves, so it'll wrap around it, the pulley, and you want to wrap it around three and a half times. <clears throat> then you want to slide it on. Then you want to put your front one on, <clears throat> push it forward, and then turn it and pull up most of the slack. Then you want to have someone outside move the door open and closed, open and closed. And you just want to slowly start cranking this until you pull up all the slack. Now you, there's going to be a little bit of slack in this and that's not going to be a problem. The issue is, is when there's too much slack, it cross feeds. So let me show you how much slack The problem is if you have too much slack. So after pushing it backwards and forwards, open and closed by hand, having someone assist you doing that, you're gonna see that most of your slack is out. Now you're still gonna have a little bit of slack in each one of the wires. But you wanna see if, if um, it opens and closes without getting bound. Once you have it to this point, go ahead and try the door. And you'll see this slack right here. <clears throat> that really bothered me, but it pulls itself back out and it's actually not a problem. The bracket you will be able to lift up from this edge and it will come out from the rail and you'll be able to see how to get these cables out of the bracket. I also use some silicone lubricant on all of the grooves on the wheel.